Hey guys, it's Steph here with Crafty Ladybug. Today we're going to talk about a couple items that are in our beach series, and we're going to begin the beach series with the beach chair. This is going to be the first item that I'm releasing in the beach series. It is a beach chair that we're going to make on one loom, and I've got the matching dad that's going to go with it perfectly. So here's our beach bob. And Bob has got hair on the back of his head, as well as cute little pair of swimming trunks. His daughter, Beach Bree. We've got a littler version of our mom. And this is going to be, once again, hair on the back of their head. The hair is something that I started on the back of the head with Prince Eric and Ariel. So if you want to see other items with the hair, different styles of hair, check those out. But our Brie has got her little beach pail as well as her rake and her shovel. So that's going to be on my channel very soon. The beach umbrella to coordinate with the whole entire beach theme. And here we have got our beach mama, little Barbie, beach Barbie, and her beach mat. And then boogie board Billy over here on his little mini boogie board and once again Billy has got hair on the back of his head as well as a cute pair of little shorts but these are going to be some great items that you would love to complete to finish off your beach series. Hey guys it's Steph here from Crafty Ladybug. Today's lesson is going to be on the beach umbrella. Ooh la la umbrella. For the beach umbrella you're going to be needing two shades for the top of the umbrella, or you could use one shade all the way around. You're going to need another shade of band for a connecting band, and then a different shade also for the stick portion. An extra item that we need for this is going to be the 16 gauge wire, or a wooden skewer would also work to help support the stick of the umbrella, the stem or the post of the umbrella. For this lesson, you're going to need about a hundred colors. In today's case, I'm doing pink. A hundred colors in blue for today's tutorial. For the strip here, the connecting strip, you're going to need about 80 of this shade and about 26 or so for the post. It depends upon how long you really want your post to be. So for this lesson, our loom is going to be set in its standard configuration with the arrow pointing towards our body. And the first thing that I'm going to show you today is how to make the little pieces right here. You're going to need eight of these total. I have already done seven off camera and I'm going to do one on camera with you, but you will need eight total. I did four of one and I'm going to be having a total of four of another color. And this is this part of the umbrella. I know it's hard to see. Imagine it being that, but that's what it turns out to be. This shape turns out to be that part of the umbrella when we get everything hooked up together. So you will need to stop the video, rewind it, and start this over to make eight of these total. All right, we're going to begin the lesson with a single band in your color choice, going from center one to center two. Another single band coming from left to center, form in a diagonal. A single band coming down to the right to form a diagonal. And a single band in the center coming straight down. Our next step is to take a single band and we're going to come down the left side. Two, three, and four times. That was a single band coming down the left side four times. We need to do the same thing on the right with a single band. And we're just going to come down the loom a total of four times. We need to finish off our center area. And for our center pieces that we're going to finish off in here, you need two bands. Two bands. Two bands and two more bands. Just pushing those down slightly. Our next step is to close off this diagonal. So I'm taking a single band from left to center and another single band from right to center. 
So this is what our loom should look like now. You've got four coming down the side, single bands. In the center you have a single, two, two, and two for a total of four. And on the right side you have a single band coming down a total of four times. Next step is to do our cat bands. We need to put a three time cat band right here. You can do your cat band however you feel comfortable. I've just wrapped mine around the hook and I'm placing it over that peg for my cat band. We need to lay our horizontal bands, which are going to be single bands, forming a triangle above that cat band. Another single band, forming a triangle above that cat band. And another single band, forming a triangle above that cat band. So it's three single triangle cat bands. Now that we have that all straight and we are ready to start to loom, I'm going to reach into my center band, cat band at the bottom, pushing that back and I'm grabbing that single band on top and moving it over to the right lower portion. Reach into that center band, cat band, grabbing that and moving it over to my left, lower left portion. I'm going to continue to work up the left side just by reaching in and grabbing that single band at the very bottom of each one, pushing back the horizontal band and just looping forward grabbing that single band. I'm going to close off the diagonal towards the center. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side, reaching in, grabbing that single band on the bottom, and just continue to loop straight forward. And I'm going to close off the diagonal. And then I'm going to start back down here on the center again pushing back those three bands, or that three, it's actually one band three times as a cat band. I'm grabbing those two lower bands, and I'm going to grab those two lower bands. I'm just looping straight forward. This is a single band straight forward. We're going to reach in, pushing back all of these, getting that single band at the bottom, and loop it forward. The next thing we need to do is to secure this off with a single band slip knotted before we take this off the loom. So you just slip knot off your end and pull your little piece off your loom. What we need to do now is to straighten up the bottom by grabbing our cat band which is right here. Give that a little tug and help to straighten and pull out these bands. You just want to give it a little tug and straighten it out a little bit, relieve some of the tension, and now you need to rewind the video and make this for a total of eight times. Four of one color and four of another color. Once you have those done, we will come back and we will restart the video and I will show you how to set your loom up for the next portion. And we're going to be doing the connector pieces, which are right here. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, for the next step, we will not be using our center peg. So I just want to pop out that center peg. And I'm just going to set that aside somewhere because I will not be needing the center peg for that step. So for this next step, what we're going to be doing is aligning up a total of nine, I believe. Let me recount again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then cap it off. So we're going to come down here nine times with a single band, and we're going to cap it off at number nine, and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So here we have band number one, number two, these are all single bands, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine. Next over here, we have number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, 
number seven, number eight, and number nine. Basically, just a single chain on each of those sides. We need to come here and we need to cap off both of these ends. This is going to be a four time cap band. So you need to be sure that you have a single band wrapped around that peg four times. I know most of you don't like doing the four times. If you don't like doing the four time cap band, you can use a three. It just doesn't make it as pointy here on the end of your umbrella. I will be doing four time cap bands on mine. But as I said, you could do three. So you just need to do that cap band on both of those ends. And then do not start to loom yet because we have something else we need to do. Okay. So there's my number four time cap band on the end. All right. Our next step is going to be to lay a color on the center. It doesn't really matter which color you start with. I am just grabbing pink right now. So we're going to lay this color out in the center. And you guys are so confused right now, but I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. We are going to take on this end piece right here. You see that lower portion of the band? We're going to be taking this lower band on each one of these links and we're going to be looping it around a peg here. And we're going to do that on both sides. So it's going to get a little confusing, but I just want you to know you're getting the lower link on each of these sides. I find it easiest to take my hook, grab that lower link, and place it where I need it to be. You do not want to put it on the one with the cat band. You want to take the next band above and place your place your link there. Here is my next bottom link and I'm going to place it there. And I do need to change my loom, just rotate my loom slightly so I can see what I'm doing. And here are my bottom links. There's my bottom link. Here is my bottom link. Here is my bottom link. And it's going to start to get tricky as you get further up the loom. But here is my bottom link. And I'm just going to stretch this piece out slightly because I want to get the bottom link of this very top one. And that's going to be the difficult part for most of you. This top band here, its bottom link, oops, be nice if I kept it on camera, sorry about that. This top band here, if you pulled on it, you would see where its bottom link is. So I have my bottom link and I need to place it right there. Okay? We need to do the same thing on the opposite side here. We need to grab the bottom links. These happen to point out a little bit better. Here is my bottom link, and I'm going to stretch that down to the similar peg that was across from it. Bottom link, stretch. This is my bottom link, and I'm going to stretch. And my bottom link, and I'm going to stretch. And my bottom link, and I'm going to stretch. My bottom link, I'm going to stretch. And then I come back up here to this crazy twisted up piece, which is my top one. I'm going to grab that bottom link, which is underneath all that mess. I'm going to stretch it out over to there. So we kind of have a weird looking specimen here. Before we start and we move on to our next step, we need to add two more pieces to this concoction we're going to be adding a blue piece on this side and a blue piece on that side before we loom everything together. You're going to be once again taking your bottom link and placing it on each of the opposing pegs. Oops. And I'm just grabbing my bottom link And I'm placing it on the matching peg that it goes with. 
similar to the pink one. Get up here to the top pieces. It does get a little confusing figuring out which one is your bottom, but just take your time and get that figured out. And then here I've gotten to my single piece and I'm just going to grab my bottom link and move that up. Now before I can loom this whole guy together, might be a little easier if you guys just take your band and sort of restrict it up there or you can just let it dangle off the side either way. Before I start to loom, I want to do my other side also. So we're going to be doing the same thing with the blue color now, or your second color, and we're just taking our bottom link and our bottom link and our bottom link and you're just matching it up just as we did all the other ones. Being careful that you're grabbing the bottom. And now I have reached my top single piece again and I just need to grab the bottom one. I'm sorry I keep rolling off camera on that. That one is difficult to find, I'm not gonna lie to you. And here we have got our little, I don't know, it looks like a scientific experiment to me. <laughs> but we're going to start to loop this guy together. Before we loop this guy together though, I think I have made a boo-boo. I think up here at the top, I need to place, you see where this pink one's kind of stretched out? We need to stretch that over. We need to get that whole link looped into this one. So you see what I did right there? I just stretched that open and I've got this whole link which is going to connect in. And because I need it on the opposite side too, I'm going to grab the top portion of that outside link outside color and I'm just going to loop it over and I'm going to do the same thing on this side here I'm going to just grab the top one and I'm going to loop it over with it okay now we're ready to loop this guy up basically you're just going to reach in beyond your cat band and you're going to loop forward you're going to reach in, push everything back, and grab that single white band or your connecting color all the way down. Push back, loop forward, pushing back everything that's there, grabbing the white, pulling it out, and looping it forward. This is a little difficult to see, but you want to pull back everything and just grab your white and loop forward. Push back everything, grabbing your single white, and loop forward. Push back on everything, grabbing your single white, and loop forward. Push back on everything, grabbing your single white, and loop forward. And that is where we're going to stop for a moment. We need to loom this side, our right side. So you're going to push back that cat band, grab your single white, and loop forward. Push back, single white, loop forward. Push back, single white, loop forward. Push back everything, reach your single white and come forward. Push back, grabbing your single white and come forward. Push back, single white, come forward. Push back, single white, come forward. And push back, grabbing your single white and coming forward. Two things that we need to do when we get up here to this area. This band that we use to secure everything off with, we're going to be undoing that. If you made a really tight slip knot on it, you might want to use just a pair of scissors to undo it. But we're not going to be needing that anymore because we're already looped in. So I've just taken a pair of scissors and I've snipped that out of the way these pieces are going to connect it and keep it looped in together. The next step that we need to do to finish this off is to loop your left forward 
Then on your left, you need to pick it up, take it off that peg, and move it over to the right. Reach into your right, loop forward, and we're going to stop there. And then we're going to secure this area off with a slip knotted band. Just simply pull that through, that slip knot through, just to secure that off. Now we are ready to take our first portion off the loom. Crossing our fingers that we haven't missed any bands and that this whole guy stays together. So I'm just taking my hook, I'm flipping everything up to make sure everything's connected. You definitely want to do your cat bands. And here we have got a very odd, strangely looking concoction that is eventually going to be part of our umbrella. And if you feel that you're not comfortable with this part before we move on because you just don't think something's going to be right, take a moment and rewatch the video. And then we're going to come back and we're going to be doing this all over again. We're going to lay out our white. We're going to add one in the center. We're going to add this piece on one side, add that piece on the other side, and then we're going to loop it up and close off the creation. So let's take a moment, look at that, make sure you haven't missed any bands before you go any further, and then come back and we will get on to it again. All right, guys, we are back and we're going to be working on our next set of white rows, which we need to come down nine. We're going to cat band off that last one, and then we're going to begin to lay our center sections in again. So let's start with a single white band coming straight down the loom, and we need to come down nine times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. I'm going to cap this one off with a three time, four time cap band. One, two, three, four. I'm going to stretch that out over that last peg there. Remember I said before, if you have a hard time getting the four time cat bands on, you can do three. It just doesn't make it as tight of a little point at the end. On our right side, we need to come down nine times. One, two, three, four. Lost one in there. Five, six, Seven, number eight, and number nine, and a four time cat band on the end. One, two, three, and number four. We're just going to stretch that out over, and we're going to take our pink and we're going to line the pink up in the center or your next alternating color. So you're going to have blue here, we're going to have pink, and we're going to have blue again over here. So we need to find our bottom band. I need to turn my loom just so it's easier for me to work, and it'll probably be easier for you guys too. And you want your bottom piece, this bottom loop right here. We're going to grab that and we're going to set it on the second band up, not the cat band. And then we're going to continue to lay our bottom links onto that peg, coordinating peg. I'm just grabbing the bottom links, the bottom portion of that link. And when I get up here to the top, I'm going to be grabbing the top two pushing it right through and grabbing half of that top. Whereas before we didn't on the first try that we did because I didn't realize that I needed to have the whole thing securing there. If you want to, you can start the opposite way on this one, pulling your top over 
and then just grabbing your bottom bands from each one of these sides if that's easier for you we can also do that so I'm just grabbing the bottom link and I'm lining it up with the appropriate peg this is my first link at the bottom and now I've got that stretched out looking like a weird science experiment I don't need that horizontal band in there but here's our little weird science experiment and for our left side we're going to be using the blue and once again I'm just grabbing the bottom portions I'm going to stretch that out over each one of the coordinating pegs grabbing the bottom half of each link and struggling with that one you might struggle with a few of them just take your time we're not in any kind of race and there's my bottom one and this is going to be the entire half of this top piece so you want to stretch out that entire top piece right there and now that we have that top piece secured down on the peg we can undo this dangle band you can either un undo it or just snip it right off we don't need that dangle band anymore to secure it so I've just cut it right off because when we loop up this side it's going to connect everything in. Now I need to do my other side, which is going to be blue again. And we're just going to be doing the bottom band of each one of these. Then we're going to be ready to loop and pull it off the loom and do it another time. I'm just simply taking the bottom link until I get to the last link then I need to take the whole half oops sorry about that just reaching in and I'm finding the whole half there so I'm going to put that whole link one side of that link over that top one move that out of the way and you could if you wanted to cut this one off but I'm not really ready to do that yet I can cut off the one here in the center or just un untie that securing band there in the center if you're cutting be sure that you don't cut your bands your true bands that you need but I've just given that a quick snip and thrown away the excess now we are going to be looping our leftmost side and then moving it over and doing our rightmost side. So let's loop forward once, push back those bands that you're using as a cap or horizontal band, come forward with your white, reach down, grab your single white. We're just pushing back everything and we're grabbing our single whites each time. Just push back everything, single white. Push back, single white. Push back, single white. Grab this one and you can loop it forward. And then we can actually move it over right now if you want to. Move it over to that left side. Or right side, I'm sorry, the right side over here. And I'm gonna do the right side, reaching in, grabbing that single band on the bottom. And we are just going to continue up, reaching in. Pretty simple, you're just getting that white band underneath so you can stitch it up, stitch the two pieces together. Essentially that's all we're doing, just stitching the two together. And now here we're going to do a white slip knot and we're going to secure that off and now we're ready to pull this off the loom again. And we're going to do it another time. So just gently pull that off the loom. When you get down here to your bottom cap bands, you do want to 
gently take those off and here we have got half of our umbrella done. That is just one half of our umbrella. So let's go again, loading up with nine white bands coming down the loom. And, oops. And I'm coming down single band nine times and I've lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Over here, I'm going to do nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And a couple more white beans. Sorry about that noise. Now we need to cap these off with four time cap bands. One, two, three, four. Stretch that over the bottom peg. And I'm struggling with these bands. These are the Rainbow Loom white bands and I don't think they are as stretchy as some of the other varieties that I use. But there's my four time cap band. And here we go again with another four time cap band. I just like the four time cap bands on this because I think it makes it look tighter and neater. So four time cap band there. Now we're going to layer pink again in the center because then we're going to do our blue and our blue again. So let's start to layer pink again using the bottom portion, the bottom loops. Don't start off on your cat band. You want to start off on the next one up. And we are just grabbing our bottom loops and securing those on. And then when we get to the top one, which was not this one, that's still my second one. We get to our top one, we're going to take half of that whole link which means two bands are going to be stretched out above there. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to pull it and we're going to stretch it across here, right across the top. And I just took off my slip knotted band there because I know I'm not going to need it. And then we can just find our bottom bands and stretch them across. Makes things a little bit easier. stretch that across. There's our weird looking science experiment again. And I'm going to be doing our blue on the one side. Once again, bottom bands. And we're just going to be linking our bottom bands right on there. Still going up with our bottom bands. And now I've reached my top one where I need to reach in and I need to get both those pieces. And I missed that one, but they're both on there now. There's my little dangle band that I can actually cut off. Being careful not to cut your true bands that you just linked on, you just looped on. I just cut that dangle band off. I'm ready to do this other side. Once again, bottom band. You guys are going to know bottom band in your sleep. You'll be daydreaming about that bottom band if you've decided to make this umbrella. Did I warn you in advance it was slightly difficult? <laughs> I would say this is an advanced tutorial. And I'm at my top one, which I need to stretch half that whole link over it. Okay. My center band is already off. I'm ready to start to loop again. 
reach into that cap band and loop forward once. I'm just reaching in and I'm grabbing the white band underneath. And I'm going to loom all the way up to the top. And just keep looming. Keep looming. And then now that I've reached the top, I'm going to grab that piece and I'm going to move it over to the right. And then I'm going to be able to loop the right side up. You guys should have this down by now. I think we've done it enough times. But you know to push back those bands, grab your white. Push back, oh, missed. Push back, grab your white. And just had a couple little bands get in the way there. Push back, white. Push back, white. Push back, white. And finish off the top here with a single band pulled through and slip knotted off. Once again, let's take it off the loom. And get down to the bottom. I don't really want to stretch out those cap bands at the bottom. So I'm just using my hook to take that off. And here we still have our umbrella, part of our umbrella that we're missing one more piece. We should have one more piece left. There's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So for this one, we need our loom back again. We're going to do nine down and cap it, nine down and cap it. And then it's going to be fun and interesting. Going to be a little bit different on this next step. So I'm just running down my loom nine times. That was number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. And number nine. I'm going to come down the right side nine times. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. You need to cap a band those with a four time cap band. One, two, three, four. Stretch out my four time cap band over that. And a four time cap band on the other side. One, two, three, and four. Stretch that out over. I'm going to layer pink as we have in the past. Starting off from the second peg up. Not your cat band peg. And guys, which band am I grabbing? The bottom one. The bottom one. Bottom. 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 Now I've reached to where my top is, that single band on the top, and I need to grab both pieces of it. And I'm just going to secure it there. I'm going to pull this other half of that link over, grabbing those two loops over, and our weird science experiment has begun again. I'm just reaching in and I'm grabbing the bottom. Bottom. You want to be sure not to grab the horizontal band if your horizontal band's peeking out there. Bottom, bottom, and bottom, and we should have one more here, that is right there, and stretch that out and down, our weird looking science experiment, I need to cut off this band here in the center, or you can untie it, whichever you feel comfortable with, okay, now, since we have a blue here, and we need another blue here. This is where the tricky part is going to come in. We are going to lay this blue right there on this side. And then we're going to pull this over and lay our blue on the other side. So it's going to actually come underneath of our loom. So it's going to be a little tricky, but we can do it. 
So we're going to layer blue just as we did the other set of bands. We're going to lay using the bottom band, line it up, no different than before, and just keep lining that up. And hold on to that one today. And now here's my top one. And I need to stretch both portions over. I can cut this dangle band off. Sometimes it helps to leave it there until the end. Sometimes it just gets in the way. So I just cut that dangle band off. And now for this side, we need to loop our project under our loom. So it's underneath our loom now. And we're going to line up these bottom blue pieces on this side. Now the trickiness comes in because you're trying to fiddle with quite a few things, but it's the same concept. You're taking your bottom band and we're going to lay those on there. So be sure to get your bottom band bottom, 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 and now this still has my dangle band on it so I can just stretch it out right over top of that and take off my dangle band there and now I'm ready to close this off. Reach into your cat band Loop forward, reaching in to get your bottom white, no different than before. Actually, this part is, is really no different than before. We're just reaching in, bottom white, and this one still has a little bit of that excess cat band on there, which is going to drive me crazy if I don't get it off. Come straight forward again forward. I'm going to move this over to the right and then I'm going to loop off the right side pushing, pushing in the cat band and come forward and come forward and be sure to grab and push back all those bands that you have in there. You only want to grab the white and pull the white out. That single white and loop forward We are almost done with this madness and our science experiment over here. And we need to secure off our end with our single white band, slip knotted. And now we are ready to take it off the loom. I'm going to let you know it is easier to start at the bottom for this one and peel that up because starting at the bottom makes it so that it's easier to slide off as it comes up the loom. So you don't get pieces really caught underneath. And we're just going to continue to work it off the loom. And voila, we have got a odd looking umbrella with a bunch of junk in our trunk in the center here. But you know what? We're going to fix that in just a couple minutes when we get ready to do the stem portion. So this is what your umbrella should look like now. You can flip it over so that it looks like this, which is slightly just a little different look to it. Um, you can decide whichever way you like it looking better. One shows a little bit more of the colors one way shows um, just a neater kind of divoted appearance to me. And you guys want to get yourself set back up. We're going to be ready um, single loom again. And we're going to start to lay out the stem or the stick, the post part of it. And we'll be right back and we'll get started with that in just a moment. So get your stick colors out and ready. 
And if you want to follow along quicker with me, you want to line those up as sets of two, two bands and a single band. So if you wanna do 12 little rows of that, two bands and a single band, two bands and a single band, make 12 little rows of that, and we'll be back in just a moment to finish up our umbrella. All right, guys, let's get started on this post area. We need just one column. We're going to be doing a set of 12 bands coming all the way down to the bottom. But before we lay our, our bands, you wanna take your single band and you wanna wrap it around your hook like you would be doing a three-time cat band. So it looks like there's three there. And what we're going to do is to take our two bands and slide that three over onto it. And then we're going to place it on our loom. This is going to be tedious, I know, but it makes it a lot easier because then you just run your green stake or your wire or your, your skewer right through there and it makes it so much easier in the long run. So we're taking a single band, wrapping it around our hook to make it look like there's three on there, pulling through, and lay on our loom. And we're going to do this all the way down until we get to the end. And we can talk about the weather. One, two, three. Pull two through and lay on the loom. One, two, three. Pull two through. And I missed that one. And lay on the loom. One, two, three. Pull two through. And lay on the loom. Again, one, two, three, pull this two through, and lay that on the loom, and I think we're halfway there, <laughs> a little over halfway there now. Two, three, two bands, place on the loom, one, two, three, two bands, pull through, and then place it on your loom. One, two, three, two bands, pull through, place on our loom. Two more to go, guys, two more to go. One, two, three, two bands, pull through, place on your loom. And the last one, one, two, three, two bands, pull through, and place on your loom. Okay, so now we have our two bands with our little three fluffs in the middle of it, all the way down the loom. What we need to do is to take our umbrella, and this is where you needed to decide if you wanted the pretty, like the tighter look on the outside, or if you wanted to flip it and have more color showing on your umbrella. If you want the tight look, the closer look, you're going to be needing to turn it inside out almost. So we want this on our top. We want it to look like this. So I'm just gonna push in my ends and then here where I have all this craziness, I'm taking two bands, two sets here which works out to be more than, than two bands. But here you have a single dangle band, and here you have a single dangle band. And then there's three and four. We're going to take that set of four dangle bands, and we're going to grab the center of them, where everything is connected together. And we're going to slide that one set over our hook. Now that that's secured on there, we can relieve this white band that was keeping them all together. So you want to take off that white band that you slip knotted. And the next thing we want to do is we want to add in another set. Reaching in, 
being sure to get the center and you're going to lay that over also kind of like a cat band and you're going to take off the dangle band and now <laughs> we're going to be ready for the real fun part the next fun part is getting more of this on there and getting our little dipper part at the top on okay guys I goofed up just a little bit so we have to do a little bit of work to get things straight get three of your stem colors the color that you're doing your post and just set those down beside your loom for a second and you're not gonna like me for this but use your hook or a skewer and you want to reach in and you want to take off just those white bands all those connector bands you just want to take those off and leave them on your hook and we need to place our three bands that we have right here newest ones we just got and you want to lay that down on your loom let them dangle over this edge and we're going to replace all of these white bands be, be sure to get the center replace all of those white bands back onto that peg be sure to get the center because if one of those little bands slip out your whole umbrella could fall apart and I'm sorry for that little slight change but it it just had to be done <laughs> okay now we're going to be adding even more to this peg so this is going to be a very very busy peg these other two we now need to add on to that peg these other two collections of bands these dangle bands so reach in there to that center point stretch that out over that peg and remove that dangle band and push it down even further and we have one more dangle band in here same thing take that dangle band out center those up and loop all of that right onto that peg here's my dangle band I'm just going to untie it and set that aside so now we have got a huge assortment of items being on this beam now for the trickier part I need you to take your hook and we're making the top piece right this second I need you to take your hook wrap around four times one two three four one single band in your post color four times take a single band and double twist it and you're going to pull that through the four and reclaim on your hook we're going to do that one more time single band double twisted and reclaim back on our hook now that we have that done we're going to pick up our loom, flip up our little umbrella piece, making sure that we do not lose any of these on that peg. The three that you have at the bottom, there's three bands that we have down here, the three extra ones. You want to loop those with your hook loop those with your hook and pull this new collection that you have on your hook pull that through and onto it so now we have what looks like a little nub hanging out here Are you ready for the trickier part we're going to twist everything and lay that back over our loom okay now we're going to start to loop again we need to loop up we need to finish looping the sky up and in order to do that you're going to push back everything that you have here all those bands and there's a lot of them to get the bottom two wiggle that out wiggle those bottom two out and loop forward wiggle the bottom two out 
and loop forward. And we're just going to take these bottom two all the way forward. I know we have a mess down here. Looks like a mess, looks kind of weird. But we're going to tuck that up in there. And we are going to have a complete umbrella in just a couple minutes. If you don't want the little spiky part at the top, you didn't have to do that last step. You just needed to get all those bands on there and secure it off as a cap band. So we didn't have to do that step, but that gives it the true little umbrella look. Now that I'm at my end, I'm going to place my band in. I'm going to slip knot that off. I'm going to take these off the loom. And I'm going to cross my fingers when I get down to the very bottom that everything is still hooked in and we will have a cute umbrella when we're done. Now this is the bottom peg. You want to reach your hook in there and you want to take all that stuff off and it's going to be hard. So take all that stuff off and here we have kind of a weird looking little situation going on here. You just want to take that area and you want to open up part of your loom Part of your umbrella you want to flip that back up through the top get a little tug straighten things up some if you don't like how it came out there on the end you can always grab some and just rotate it over so that it goes into the center and here we have got our little umbrella spike at the top and here we have got our umbrella stem at the bottom and all we need to do is to run our wire through just take your wire and run it through and keep running that through all the way till you get to the top and then you're going to push through the top if I can ever get to that point, we're going to push through, push through, push through, and we're going to make it come out the top, and we're going to make it go right through that little point that we have up here. Push that through, just keep wiggling, push that through, and Peel that down to your desired length. And here we have got our cute little umbrella. So all we need to do is to trim our ends. If you wanted to add more longer post length, you can surely do that. Um, but if you wanted, if you like the length that it is, that's fine. If you wanted to add more length, you would do the two bands with the, the gray in the center, with the three loop in the center. Do that down as far as you want and attach this end to keep looping up. But here we've got our nice little umbrella and you want to take your wire cutters to trim your wire off. And today my wire cutters are dull. Just fiddle with it a little bit. And there we have got our adorable little beach umbrella and it's ready to go along with our beach chair. And I hope you guys have enjoyed and you haven't swore at me too much. Like I said, if you want to just keep fiddling with this to get it to your liking, that's a little bit more centered there. Just keep fiddling with it to get it the way that you want. If it's not tight enough for you up in here, you can always take and tie in another band to make it tighter. It's entirely up to you. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. Post your creations on my Facebook page at Crafty Ladybug Rainbow Loom Creations or Instagram, hashtag Crafty Ladybug, and I will be sure to see your items. Da, 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 beach items. I love the beach. See you guys soon.